Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon White 2. I'm your Spooky Gamer. In the last episode, we kind of started into like the deeper part of Pinball Forest, and we'll be finishing that off today. Um, and we'll be kind of getting started in the outskirts area as well. Um, but yeah, we have some stuff to talk about in regards to the channel itself, and um, yeah, and it's kind of big, especially for me. Um, I don't know how many of you actually care, uh, and I don't know how many of you actually, you know, follow me over on Facebook or even on Twitter. Um, if you don't, you probably should, because usually if I decide I'm not going to be able to upload, like, videos during the week or whatever, I usually make the announcements there, because obviously making a video on my channel to say, oh, well, there's not going to be a video today, it, it makes it seem kind of productive. But, um, over this past weekend, Probably one of the worst things that could ever happen in this household has happened. Um, our cat had started having seizures. Uh, the first one apparently was fine, wasn't that big of a deal. Um, of course, seizures are still a big problem, but um, the first one wasn't that bad. And I was there for the second one, and the second one was absolutely horrible. Um, she was flailing all over the bed, she was just... I wouldn't say foaming, but she was kind of just like drooling out of her mouth and stuff like that. It was pretty scary. And she's had roughly two to three more seizures since. Um, she had one last night. It went away pretty quickly and there wasn't like major thrashing or anything like that. And she was fine. And then, um, so I mean, like there was one when we were both asleep and then there was one just before that one when we were still awake so I mean she's had roughly like four or five seizures in the span of only a few days and it's gotten to the point where they're daily and so I mean we've kind of decided that we're gonna be putting her down uh, my mom started a, a GoFundMe I'll link that in the description we're kind of short a couple like I think like 20 something dollars at the very least for the bills that we're gonna have to pay to have her put down my mom also would like to have her cremated so I believe that she's already calculated it all out and the money that we would have from all that would give us what we need for, um, you know, the cremation and whatnot. So I'd like to kind of mention this. Uh, I probably will be able to do an episode tomorrow as well um, because apparently the GoFundMe money that we have so far, if we are to like, just accept what we have now, would at earliest be deposited on Thursday. So considering it's Tuesday and tomorrow being Wednesday, that gives us a couple days. Of course, I'm kind of afraid for this cat because if she has another of these, one of these major seizures, I'm going to be freaking out as well. I mean, I haven't had, per se, a really good night's sleep ever since this whole shit started. So like, I just haven't been feeling well, things like that. That's why I didn't do an episode yesterday. And... Um, I feel like I need to share this with you whether or not you actually care because if you actually watch my let's plays for you know whether it's because I ramble on because it's the news that I provide regarding Pokemon as well as things like Smash Brothers or you know things like that um you know whether you watch me for that or not if I have to take time off from making videos for you know personal problems then I feel like you kind of need to know that, which is why I said earlier, if you haven't already, be sure to follow my Twitter and, you know, like my Facebook page, because, I mean, it's a thing. If you want to be able to know whether or not I'll be putting out an episode, um, you know, those are the places you'll actually be able to find it. If you don't see anything from the current day saying that I'm not doing an episode or whatever, which I usually post anywhere between 3 p.m. to like 5 p.m. Eastern time, um, whether or not I am because of whatever reason during the day, um, you know, I'll post them there. So if you are one of those people that likes to frequently watch my videos, you should probably follow me on you know Facebook and Twitter so that way you can make sure that you know that you, whether or not to look out for a video of course um, not to mention that if you do that and you're not like all constantly on YouTube checking your feed then you can also kind of get my videos that way but um yeah like I said I'll leave a link to the GoFundMe in the description if you guys feel like being generous enough to donate I'm not asking you to but if you do it's much appreciated um, 
and also you can find my Facebook and Twitter down below as well. So I'm just, you know, I'm sure you can kind of tell that I'm a little bit depressed and I do apologize. I really don't like bringing this on my channel, but at the same time, like I feel like despite the fact that I don't get very many views, um, the people that do uh, come back and watch over and over, they, um, they're very appreciated. I am very grateful that people do even watch my videos. So, I mean, if you're watching, then again, I'm, kind of, I'm grateful for that. But um, I, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that. Um, if this does get done on Thursday, I will not be doing videos on Thursday or Friday. So just wanted to give that kind of a thing there. I will probably be posting on my Facebook, which is connected to my Twitter, if I am not completely mistaken. And um, I will probably be saying there will be no episode today or, you know, something like that. And um, that way you'll just know. I just wanted to share that information with you guys because, you know, again, anyone that frequently watches my videos probably will want to know. So... And one other thing, I guess, um, just kind of like pray for my mother, because this means a lot more to her than it actually does to me, despite the fact that I really love this cat a lot as well. Um, because over the past 10 years, my mom has used that cat for an emotional outlet. Like, she, she can't do something like that with me. Like, she can pick up the cat and just hold it as tightly as possible without you know, harming it, of course, and then, you know, like, it's just been a huge part of our family ever since we got it, and, I mean, it's just a bigger thing for her. We've kind of already started looking into, um, two new cats, but, um, we are having trouble finding the adoption form on this Facebook page, so, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm sorry to kind of go on about this crap. I mean, if you don't care about it, then that's your thing. I, I've dealt with a lot of assholes over the last few days in regards to this whole situation. I, I Believe it or not, I've found someone that said that they don't care because quote-unquote, it's a fucking cat. And the worst part was he, on one of the posts, had said, you know, put it down, yay, with a smiley face. Like, how, how do you do that with an animal, by the way? How do you do that? Like, I, I'm curious. How do, how do you just be happy about putting an animal down how do you not care but i mean again everyone has their own thing they are all you know they, they all do their own thing so i mean i can't really control what other people do but at the same time it seems a bit fucked up just to be like yeah it's just an animal whatever but i don't know like he had said something about a dog of his being hit and um he said he didn't even shed a tear. So, I mean, I, I don't understand how people can be like that. I mean, hell, I'm one of those people that likes to try and keep everything inside. I try not to, like, cry all the time about something like this or whatever. But, um, you know, so I don't know. But I, I think that's about all I really need to say on the matter. This will probably be like a one-time deal for hopefully a very long time. So I, it's just anyone that's bared with me so far throughout this entire story, ramble, whatever, rant, I don't know. For those of you who have actually stood and stuck with me through it, I, I apologize for putting you through it. And I appreciate the fact that you're considering, you know, listening to me and everything, you know. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, there's that. But I, I, there's nothing else to really say about it. Like I said, everything will be in the description, link-wise. So be sure to just, you know, check those out. But, um, yeah. We're pretty much done with all the trainers, I think, in this place. So, I mean, all we need to do is um, get the remaining items that are laying around. At least the ones that you can see. And then there's a hidden grotto over here as well, um, which is right there. But, of course, there's an item over here that we're going to go and get. And then we're going to go check out the Hidden Grotto, and then we'll be heading back towards the entrance. And yeah, we don't want to surf. We want to go into the Hidden Grotto. Uh, this is the one that I believe you can get Breloom in, which is kind of cool because you can get the um, Poison Heal Breloom and stuff. Uh, I believe this was one of the ways that you could get it. I don't remember if you got Shroomish in the um, Dream World or not. I could be wrong, but I mean, 
either way like it, it's a good alternative to get hidden abilities if you can't connect to the internet or whatever and you know go on the global link go into the dream world etc not that that's even a thing anymore considering we're in generation six but i mean anyone that's played through generation five already knows about the dream world so it's kind of information in regards to them or whatever so either way we're basically done with the inside of pinwheel forest we're not exactly done with the outside but at the same time, we will also be hitting up Nacreen because of this asshole here. Um, his first Pokemon, I believe, is not that big a deal. But his second one is. So it's like, oh, okay. Um, Extreme Speed is going to be really good because we have the Silk Scarf. And um, it'll be really good just for that. Like, if there's any chance that I can actually be outsped, Extreme Speed will be able to outspeed them. Which is obviously a very nice thing to have, but um, I mean, whatever, if anything else, I can easily get Ice Punch back. I don't know if I'm going to actually keep Drain Punch, I might actually replace that with Ice Punch again, but I'm not entirely sure. I haven't fully decided on Lucario's final move set, but I mean, at, as it stands, it's pretty solid. I mean, Drain Punch is just good to get back that health whenever it's really required. Or if you're just like battling against something and have a little bit of damage, you can just kill something with it and be like, oh, hey. But um, yeah, it outspeeds me and uses Poison Fang, which poisons me, so I decided to just go into Nacreen after this and heal because I'm not going to deal with Poison. I really hate Poison whenever it comes to like the main story of the game, or even the post-game. Because, I mean, it's just inconvenient. Residual damage in battles just because you got poison in a, pri in a prior battle whether it be a wild battle or not and um, Yeah I don't know if that's this Yanma's best move by the way because this Yanma like I feel like it would have been better off using something else I don't know if he even gets bug buzz at the level that it's at but could be wrong I don't know bug buzz would be like its best move though so whatever and getting on the bike because it's much faster, because why not? But yeah, Nacreen City, pretty ain't it? Uh, it's been a while, over two years story-wise, and I would say a month and a half or so now since, you know, actually probably a little over that since Pokemon Black, but yeah, I don't know. It's been a while. Like, it, for me, whenever it comes to Let's Plays, it seems like they go by really fast, like really, really fast for me. But at the same time, like I know that they last a long time. They'll last like up to a month and a half to two months, depending on the game and how long the story is, stuff like that. I don't even remember how long Heart Gold was for me, but all I remember is that it was kind of long. I'm not sure if you heard that. I had to yawn because I literally kind of just woke up and decided I needed to record. I was actually considering not recording today just because if there was that off chance that we were going to the vet today, like if we somehow got our money, then there was no way in hell I was going to do a video today at all because the veterinarian office for like I guess doing the stuff that we need to have done doesn't really do anything until after like 5 p.m. so we would be leaving in about you know 50 minutes from now. And uh, I'm at 50, but oh well, yeah, about 15 minutes from now, and um, maybe not because it might be like 20 or so minutes away. So we'd probably be leaving in about 15 minutes, which would obviously be a no no for me at the moment because I wouldn't be able to record, and I don't know when the hell we'd get back, but yeah, so I don't know. But um, yeah, and this is gonna be the last trainer for the day. Um, I mean. And we're 14 minutes, obviously we really can't go much further than this. Uh, I believe we get an item and then we kind of call it a day. I don't even remember what the item was, but... Also, this kind of annoyed me. I took unnecessary damage here because it somehow managed to live. Either it was a low damage roll, um, or it's got enough defense to last a non-stab ice beam. I don't know. Whatever. It, it's dead. Whether or not I killed it with one shot or not it's still gone so it's great and then of course four times week to grass Lily comes in and there seems to be a lot of four times week to grass in this game for some reason because I often find myself bringing Lily out just to you know pedal dance four times effective GG story bro 
But um, yeah, there's an item down there too. But um, we're gonna get this item and we're basically gonna call it a day here. And Sue, before we you know get started on whatever, uh, I do wanna apologize again for rambling on about the cat stuff. Uh, like I said, all the links will be in the description. Please check them out if you have the free time. And um, yeah. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, this is the Poke Gamer signing out.